Right, I'm going to start recording from here. So welcome to the video. If you guys are on YouTube, I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. We're going to be doing a quick run of the new Cole Garrison mission. And this one, so there's going to be a few different missions in a row. Like each week, it's going to go ahead and change and then kind of like flip. So it's like one, two, three, and then it goes back to one. Uh, this one here is called Sneaky Sabotage. And we're going to be looking at the challenges and all of the different things that we can access as we go ahead and do it. Uh, for the most part, um, complete the mission without dying should be pretty much straightforward. Um, and the other one is complete the mission in under 15 minutes. Now, I can tell you could probably go and do it within like a five minute. So it, it is doable. You just basically skip a lot of the mobs. So don't worry about it. But as for the other other things and what to look for, so the veil breakers, the gene stamps, the chipper tools, the K drives, and even the soma cords is going to be the main purpose of this. In case you feel a little bit lost or you don't really know what's going to do and you're looking for a bit of guidance, I'm just going to show you like what I found, where I found it. Unfortunately, because I've completed it i might i might be able to clip some of this back in but because i completed it i won't be able to exactly show the k drives the veils i, I don't even think i can show the chipper tools either but um if you just look if i just move my camera out the way if you simply just look it's generally like a white toolbox okay and i'll show you where i found it but don't worry it does kind of sit out and it is a little bit kind of obvious so uh we will kind of go over that anyways let's just go and start mission and get straight into it okay cool and we'll go over everything. I'm also kind of like answering a few questions on Twitch chat as well at the same time. But how come I can't play buy the Arco mods? So if you guys are looking at Chipper's store at the uh, at the moment, um, you need to go ahead and rank up in Chipper's store right now. So um, it's going to require you to keep doing these missions every week, and slowly and surely you'll be able to buy the Archon mods and all of the stuff that you can get from Chipper. So if you want the new weapons, if you want Styanax, uh, the Archon mods, and even the Archon shards uh, within the Chipper store, you will slowly go ahead and get all of that, but you just need to uh, give it a bit of time right now, okay? Uh, start off with, uh, we're just starting off. All we're going to go and do is simply just run over there. Forgive my, like dashing that i do here this is just kind of how i get around how you want to get around is entirely up to you but this is just basically what i do um so to start off with you see these things here these are essentially cameras we're going to be using these to our advantage so as soon as we get towards the first hack of the first door we're basically going to go and click on it and we're now on that camera all you're basically looking for right is these things here the activate energy barriers and you'll be able to see where they are I see like that kind of flow energy state well, you can't actually see it. So, well, it's, it's that bar that right there, this one. Um, but when I go and hover over the camera, if I move the mini map, that see that? So it's easier if you trace these, you can find out where it's going to do it. So anyways, we click, just simple activation button, and now I'll open the first door. Now that we've done that, we're going to activate the next ones. The way that this works, really simplistically, the first one is pretty much obvious where it is. You see it right here. That's going to unlock one of four barriers for this door down there. All you're going to then go and do is hit this one over here. I'll be dead honest. Oh, this is for the gene stamp. So you, I was going to go and say you don't need this, but you do. Um, so anyways, we can go and activate that one. That's essentially all you're activating, okay? is one to the left, one to the right. And then up here, you're basically going to face the opposite camera and click. And it's now going to take you over to this view instead. Over here, you're now going to go and deactivate this one. And that's now going to open your door where I am inside there. There I am, okay? Something I do want to go and say about the cameras. I don't know how this works for console. But if you're on PC, if you go and see the camera speed, see that? I can actually double speed this. If I So I'm using A, D, W, and S, right? So let's go and say I'm using A right now. If I also use the arrow keys at the same time, now watch the speed. You ready? So this is once. Now look at that. See the difference? So if you want to go and move a little bit quicker, you can actually go and use the arrow keys and WASD at the same time. So look. Just to go and get around. If, to show you what that would look like without it and just one, see how much slower it is. So something that I just kind of found there. Again, that's mostly for PC players. If you're on console, I have no idea if that works. So you, you just let me know, all right? Now, one of the places I found the first K-Drive part was on, you see like this looking barrel? Oh, there's a part. Look there. Got it. Right, I've got one of the four. So I know where that one is now. I basically found it on here, but I'm not going to lie. Just as it's come out, it's quite hard to go and see. But you'll see like a very 
blue glimming at a very dim kind of like light it will catch your eye and be like what's that blue tint what's that blue glow good thing is i'm color deficient but if i can go and notice it you guys can go and notice it all right you will go ahead and find it and then normally just a little bit out of the way but you will need four of these k-drive pieces okay you will need to do it all in one mission right but anyways that's just roughly where i had found one of them whether or not you find it there it's random every time you go and enter as to where they kind of are i believe it is that's what chat was telling me and chat if you're wrong it's your fault okay but anyways let's just keep going as well right uh, so uh, now that we got this part all we're gonna go and do is just run down the stairs to our right we're gonna take a right again you can literally just one shot this one from behind whoops sorry if it's if it doesn't move you can actually just one shot it just straight away it's like a stealth attack once you killed it Go down to the right and there's a hack right here. Okay, so we're going to go and hit the hack. Now, I'm not very good at these, and but these hacks are really fun to do. Let me know how you guys are finding these hacks, all right? Let me know in the comment section as well. But um, all it's going to go and do is lift this up and you'll see there's actually another one that we're going to activate over there. So we're just going to go and run down towards the door. We're now going to go and hit this and it's right there. Click. And if I just follow that cable, you'll now see that it's also loosed uh we've lost uh, two of them there which is really good so for this next part um i'll just show you how to go ahead and, and do all of the, the locks for now and then we'll get in towards the gene stamps and so forth as i come across them so um if you do happen to see be seen by one of these don't panic use your third ability and just hit it okay like don't worry you can't kill it with melee or uh primary you can kill it um with this electric charge up here Hopefully he doesn't see me there. I'm just going to skip over here. That electric charge, but I'll explain that in a moment. Um, so as I go down here, this is where the next hack is. Feel free to like uh, rewind the, the video or anything else like that if you guys uh, couldn't keep up, okay? Because you can always see my movement and which kind of direction I go. So I've done this hack. Uh, what I'm going to go and do now is to skip over here. And Cole can grab ledges. <laughs> Cole can grab ledges. Cole can grab ledges. We're just going to go and stun him. And we're just going to drop down, drop down here. And then this is where one of the other hacks is, just down here. <laughs> I'm still not good at this, okay? So bear with me. Anyways, this is going to basically lower these two kind of things in the way. And then look, that's where one of the other um, access buttons are. We're going to come back here, so don't worry. I'll explain what else is over here. But for now... Now that I've done that hack there, okay, and then this hack here, this will actually allow me to go down here. Keep in mind, there's two enemies here. Is he still lurking? He is. Nice. I got a, see how I got a one shot back kill there. So now that I go inside this section, what I can go and do is I can see that there's a pad here. As soon as I disable that one, I can turn all the way around. Again, I'm going to use both of the directional controls. Hit that. And that's now going to open all of the pads for this door okay so you should be able to just be in nice and simple and as easy as that now a few other things that can be found within this area and i'm going to show you um how to go ahead and get to some of them there could also be a k drive part in here i believe i think i found one like here or something like that so again just keep it's like a it's like a very kind of bluish glow um hopefully i've put it in the video if i haven't um forgive me all right but you will go ahead and find it all right Anyways, so as we go up towards here, you might be thinking, hmm, there's a soma cord there. How do, how do I get to it? Now, this is how I've done it, and I don't know if this is the right method, but I'm going to show you anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and do this then, shall we? So we're going to go towards the center of this area, and you see where this car is? I'm just going to go and jump on this, and then jump so I'm on top. And then I'm just going to jump across over to here. And you see where this part is? What I'm going to go and do is I'm just going to go ahead and look down and put, put my second ability there, which is a blunt. And I could jump on top of my second ability and just sprint and jump. Whoops, I missed. <laughs> That's actually the first time I've missed. And it would be during a demonstration, wouldn't it? Of course it would. Let's try that again. There we go. That will pull me straight up. Don't have to feel like you push any commands. Just hold space. And then as soon as you hit it, you'll ledge grab, pull yourself up. And now I'm on this bar. Once I'm along this bar, I basically ran down here. And this would allow me over this, uh, past that kind of like little barrier. I don't know if this is the right way to approach it, but this is my way to approach it. Also, if these guys see you, see me? He does this like really... <laughs> they run away from you if you see them, but I'll explain what to go and do with those ones just in a second. But anyways, here's the Soma cord if you guys need it. Boom, lovely jubbly, all right? Um, you can't get through it any other way that I'm finding. So I kind of use the blunt as a way to... to alleviate myself up and jump on top 
anyways, talking of these guys, and speaking of these guys, these are the veils. If we actually hold tab, you can see uh, what the objectives are. These ones are called, uh, just in the top right, remove the uh, veil breakers. Now, when you actually start doing this quest, the odds are you'll meet Chipper and you'll kind of, it will, it will, it will encourage you to do it to him so you know how to do this anyways. But just, just for in case you don't know, use your third ability, hit them. Once you've hit them, go up towards them, press X. You'll get into this like little window, wait for them to get the big old suck and then just tap at you. Okay. Hopefully that's not too bad for anybody who's got like, you know, I don't know, finger cramps or issues or anything else like that. Maybe they might be able to go and change it to hold E, you know, rather than tap E, but we'll see what happens down the line. But um, anyway, so that's just like where you can find one of them. And there's a few others scattered around. So let me go and show you like some other places that I found other things. So I'm just going to drop down. Um, I found, so just over here at the back of the room, I'm going to keep my map open always so that you guys can see. And if I just drop down here again, um, so I found another one of them over there. So just when you go ahead and lower these two uh, pillars down, there's normally, you can find one there as well. Not normally, but just hit the deacon so I can go past him. You could find another one in here as well, just chilling there. Down the back here, you can actually find a gene stamp. So you see this dead body. These, bo these dead bodies are always basically set here, but they won't always have a gene stamp on them. Now, gene stamps are something else that you are looking for. Collect five gene stamps, all right? So you will be looking for these bodies. When you come into this room, it will basically start flashing next to the body saying that there's an icon that you can interact with it. That is essentially the gene stamp, okay? So... You can basically come into the room. If you don't see it flashing, you can just essentially just leave the room. But come into about like here, for example, just to, just to double check. All right. If you don't see like any icon or any flash in there, just turn back around and leave because it's not that one. Okay. I'm just going to go and stun this deacon again. We can also go and run down this back area down here. This is where we did the hack. This just basically lifts the elevator up. You can hit this guy. Oh, look, see that? That's exactly what it's on about. See the, the icon? Like I wasn't even there and the icon's flashing. So uh, here's a gene stamp. So this is why when the bodies are, you can pick that up. And you need five of these gene stamps as well. I can show you where a few other bodies are if you guys need them. Go and hit this crate. Um, here's another one of these uh, dudes. I don't even know what that was. I thought that was a part of the K drive then. So you just do that, hack them so far. I can't be bothered to go and keep doing it, but you get the idea. Uh, you can go through here. Now this area here, oh look, there it is. Um, so there's another gene stamp that I could go ahead and take if I wanted it. Another dead body. And look, that's Chipper's tools. Okay, so if you need his tools, it's right here. I'll show you where I am on the map. I'll just stand still so there's no, like, pixel or anything else like that. So uh, it's just down these stairs here. And if you, if you want to see it from another angle, I'll run up the stairs so you guys can go and see where I am. There you go. See that? I'm just underneath. So this is where we started off hacking and we ran down the stairs and we went all the way over there. Essentially, you'd cross all the way over here and then just jump down these stairs and it's right there. Okay. You can also go down here as well and you would normally go and find another veil uh, person. They were standing here. If they're not here, maybe you might be able to find them here. I haven't found anything in this room yet, so I don't really know what that room's purpose for, but you get the idea. Um, but you can go and find another person here if you need to go to remove the veil off of them. So that kind of covers this area. Uh, another place that I found a key drive for anybody else who's interested is literally behind this fork, which was right here. I found another key drive part there. Again, a very blue, dimish kind of glow. And uh, on this back line, uh, you don't really tend to go and use this for anything else, but you can go and use it for the genes. So if you run down here, there's actually two dead grinier bodies, one on either side. So if I just run down here, see if we get a gene pop up. No. So, but if you are after a gene, it could be this one. Again, it's not, it's, it, everybody's going to be a little bit different, but if you're looking for another body, there's one here and there's literally another body right over there as well. Okay. So you could just run down along that one as well. We will actually be running down that later. So if you don't want to do that now, you don't have to, because I'm going to show you what I'll be doing later and you'll actually be using that to your advantage. Or you can use this. Uh, there's nothing else down there from what I'm aware of. I believe that's just a way to maybe shake off a deacon if it chases you. Um, otherwise there wasn't anything else down there, but Spoilers, we will be heading that way later anyways, okay? Spoilers. Right, anyways. So, uh, some other places. Go to find some other things. Deacons are pretty stupid, so don't worry. Don't feel too threatened by them. <laughs> uh, so, we can kind of go this way. Was there one underneath this stairs? No, there isn't. But there is one underneath these stairs. There's another gene that you can go and get from another dead brother. Lots of dead brothers, unfortunately. So, there you go. There's another one right there. He's underneath these steps. I can open it up on the map again, show you where I am. Get the idea? Just right there. Now, sorry, I can go and show you. I'll show you this real quick. You see where this guy is? I'm going to stun him. And you see that, like, electric part up there? If I'm quick enough. I haven't really gained much from doing this, but I'm going to go show you. 
If I go over here, watch this. I can activate that. If I turn back around. I don't know if I was quick enough. I don't think so. But what I can go and do, if I go and get his attention. See this one here. Come here. I don't want to pull two of them if I can. So I'm just going to pull them rounds. Oh, I missed. So these ones you mostly just want to break line of sight on. Because if you don't break line of sight, I was about to go and say that happens. Um, so you just go ahead and keep breaking line of sight on them. Try and hug corners and so forth. When you see it come out, just dash around the corner. Oh, I was actually just told, so there's a member of the E inside the chat right now, and they said there's an accessibility option for you to hold E instead of you mashing E on the Veil Breakers. Thank you very much, Sasuke. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so there is an accessibility option, all right? So feel free to go and change that if it's hurting your finger or anything. I'm just going to kill that one. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I just wanted to go and show you this. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to go and show you it. So again, if I do... I got it. I'm quick enough. I don't think I am, but we'll give it a shot. There you go. I might have got it there. Uh, you don't have to do this, but by all means, if you want to remove some deacons in this area and take your time to run around, um, you will end up killing the deacon. I can't even tell if that's the same deacon. It worked last time. Just trust me, okay? That was killing them. Otherwise, I can't quite figure out what else this is for. I haven't figured that out. And you can also move this as well. And I still also haven't figured that out either. Oh, do you know what? Unless that's a way for you to jump onto that and then jump from there to there, it might actually be that. But you can also move. I wonder if it is. Oh, do you know what? It actually is. <laughs> Live on stream. We figured it out in the end. You can actually move this though with the uh, with the access and it's just dawned on me that's the way for you to go and get up. It actually makes way more sense rather than you doing a uh, doing a blunt and standing on top of it and then jumping from there onto that. You can actually just use this. So don't move that if you don't want to. If you do move it, this is what it looks like just so that you guys are aware. Sorry, bear with me. Trying to get through this video as quick as I can. So it, you move it, it looked like that is what would happen. So you wouldn't have the option to jump onto it like that. You can also click it again um, if it lets me reset. There you go. And it literally just sits there. Besides from that, it doesn't really do much else whilst it's here. Maybe it breaks line of sight on deacons or something. But I haven't quite figured out what else it would do here. Um, if you do if you do find out something, let me know, all right? But again, I still haven't moved that out. But yeah. I haven't figured that one out at the moment. Unless it's like an enemy that is on that platform, you could probably crush them, but uh, so forth. I think I covered majority of things in this area. I believe that I did. I don't know if I missed anything. Oh, there is one area that I did miss, which was the first door that you could hack. Remember when I said you was on the camera? Sorry, a bit of a flashback. I couldn't run all the way down there. It's going to take me a bit of time. Remember when I said you, uh, you first camera, you hack the door, for the main door and then you hack the door on the right if you go up in there there's also another dead uh guard up there it's the only thing that's up there okay but where this kind of like window area is inside you can you can get up there by going up those other stairs not these stairs here those other stairs and again there's like one dead guard in there so if you're looking for another guards feel free to if you don't know what i mean just rewind the video sorry i I've, it's only just dawned on me right i'm multitasking i'm multitasking oh i did that pretty clean I did that very clean anyways we're inside this area now and now we're just going to go and hack that. And it's going to bring us into like phase two, if you will. It's going to be two enemies here. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get them. If you ever see them go ahead and do their stomp, by the way, um, if you get caught by the stomp, it looks like this. Try not to get caught by the stomp. Um, they do have quite a telegraphed attack. You can just jump over it. What do you want? You can just jump over it, okay? And also, if you do your triple combo, one, two, three. You pretty much always kill, kill a unit, all right? So just keep committing to the attack. Don't feel like you need to back out. Always commit. One, two, three. Try and hit all three, okay? Uh, now we're inside this little area. Um, let me go ahead and start off by saying there's a guard behind here. So if you need more jeans, it's literally just right here. Um, if not, you can keep going this way. And then what I'm going to do is show you how to do the hack before I go ahead and start exploring the other area. Because the deacons are all down there. Boom. Um, we can one shot him. If they ever drop this and you don't know what it is, I'll just show you real quickly. If I throw a grenade, it's basically a grenade. If I pick it up, there you go. I mean, if you've done new war and stuff like that, you should be familiar with this. But in case you haven't, or in case you might have forgotten what that is, then 
show you there. So now we're inside this area and the way that this puzzle essentially works is, again, I'll try and timestamp all of this stuff as quick as I possibly can as well so that you guys can just find what you're looking for. Uh, the idea of this one is you need to go ahead and activate these four symbols and it's kind of, I say hidden around the room and then once you find what all the four symbols are you want to go and boot the sequence and you're basically done the way that we do this is there's three well there's technically four cameras there's one camera there i'm on one camera there's one camera there and if i click on this one there's another camera there okay so there's actually four cameras so what we're going to go and do is choose either camera either the left or the right hand camera you don't have to be on the middle one so let's just say i click left now so i'm on the left hand one if i move this down there's a symbol right there. You see that symbol? And if I go to the back, that's matching the back corresponding one. You see the line that you see like going across there? So all I'm going to do is tweak it until that symbol matches that one. Lovely. I've done that. So then what you're going to do is follow this one. That now matches there. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we tweak that until that's the same. Lovely. Now what we're going to go and do is click on this one. Right next to it, you can activate the drone. Normally, I would click this and I would start hitting this camera and look at the next one. But I'm going to show you what the drone does. That's what the drone does, okay? But normally, you see that in that time where the drone's doing nothing, if you just go ahead and activate this, and as soon as you activate it, then click onto this camera, there's the next symbol, basically. Now, remember, this is the back one. I keep messing this one up. As soon as I see this one, I enter this one from here. It's not this one. It's the back one, okay? So this one is the back one. So we look for that symbol. Lovely. That's that symbol. We're good. Shoot back on this one, and we can see that that symbol belongs to this one here. Okay, lovely, easy. I'm just going to go and put us back on this camera. You don't have to be back on this camera. Click whenever you're ready. Click run boot sequence. You're done, all right? That's basically how you find that, like, little area and how you go and do it and what you're looking for, all right? Um, this elevator doesn't really typically do anything, at least not from what I'm aware of, unless I can run on it and there was... No, oh, no, I've got all of the parts. Uh, and unless there might be a K drive part on there or something else that maybe I didn't find on my run. But if you do ever need to check the elevators, feel free to go and do so. I don't think there's anything on there, but feel free to go and check, all right? Once you've done that, he's going to go and get an Exegus gun. Yes, sir. We love the Exegus. So we're going to pick this up. And we're just going to go and bop him, all right? Hit him with the old bop. Bosh. Lovely. Okay, what I'm going to go and do, though, is now run down to this bottom area because there's a few things you can find down here if you're looking for some other stuff as well, okay? So, number one, I tend to find the K-Drive long boards. I tend to find it right here, okay? So, right underneath the bottom. I'll just kind of show you more on the where I am. I'll open up the map if you guys need to see it as well, okay? So, basically, just look for these panels if you want to. those enemies see this like panel it's opposite that and there'll be a key drive right here right and um, that's where i found another component um you can find some uh dead bodies you can find one here and you can find another one here so there's two of them so you can go ahead and get a gene if you need those uh, another thing you can go and find. Oh, this is where I found one of the other key drive components. And for me, it was really hard to see. Um, again, it's just come out. It's okay. But you see like the dim glow that I've got on the Exegus right there. See that, that like tint of blue, if you will, whatever. That's kind of how it would look like. But basically just sitting on top of that. So it looked more like this, genuinely. So you'd be like, oh, what's that tin? Go up towards it, activate it. That's basically part of the key drive, all right? So I found another one there as well. It almost feels like these barrels generally could be an indicator of things spawning on top of them because I saw that at the very beginning. I don't know if you remember that. Um, there is another person here that you can go ahead and uh, rip the mask off if you need to. And there's another gene pool over here as well. Um, if you need an extra dead sh soldier, there's one there. All right. Uh, like I said, I haven't really checked on top of those, unfortunately. But if you do want to go and check, feel free to go and do so. I haven't uh, wasted my time going for that just yet. Anyways, outside of this area, I think I covered majority of things in this area. I'm pretty certain I got everything that I needed to do. Was there anything on that side? I don't think there was, no. No, I think that's mostly about it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, all right? By all means, you know, I can't get everything right straight away. This has only just come out, but we're doing a good job. Anyways, now that you come over here, you're basically going to activate the target marker. And this is going to allow you to use your G button on, on PC. So um, you can also kill Deacons. In my opinion, target the Deacon. Ignore everything else and go straight for the deacon. Now, before I drop down, there's also another guy here that you can go and talk to. And as I drop down, as I drop down and go to the back here, there's another dead soldier there as well. Okay, so you can also get this. All right. So the deacon's there. He's going to be a bit problematic. So again, what we're going to go and do is just pull him into that area. And we can kill the deacon, all right? Oh, God, I could die there. 
So I'm just going to wait for my health to regen in the top right. If you ever feel like you're in a bad spot, uh, just go ahead and hide behind saying you're regen back to full HP. So don't feel like you're, you're super pressured to, you know, how do I sustain or how do I survive? Just hide. Like, you'll be all right. You will be all right. Um, I don't know if there was any cage drive parts or anything else around there, but I showed you a few of the cage drive parts. So hopefully this has helped you guys. All right. Let's pick up that grenade because I could use it. From here onwards, I'm going to be dead honest. You don't really need to kill anything that you come up against. Um, I can just show you. Essentially, if you just stick to the left hand sides, simply like this, you'll generally be okay. Just keep sliding across here. You can ignore absolutely all of that now. And now just stay again only to the left. Keep going this direction. So if you ever want to go and do the speedrun version of this, again, just follow my path and stick to the left, all right? Stick to the left. Those were the stairs earlier that I was talking about. <laughs> if you can uh, yeah, juggle your memory back right there. So anyways, remember what I was saying? Well, I was across there and I said, oh, I'll come across here later. There you go. We're coming across here. These enemies, again, ignore all of them. There's literally no reason to go and kill them right now. So you can just keep running all the way down. Uh, when you do run down as well, and if you do feel like, oh, you know, are you going to end up getting shot in the back? See, there's the second guard as well. No, don't worry. You're not going to get shot in the back or anything. Just run down here. Uh, this door here is going to go ahead and close. Oh, that door is going to go ahead and close. See this barrel, L2 barrel, if you can. When he comes around the corner, shoot the barrel. It'll go ahead and freeze him in place. Use your uh, G ability there. And then try and get as much headshot damage as you can. Okay, I don't know where he's got... I don't know how it's done that. Does that reach it? And that reaches it as well. If you ever need to freeze it, you can go and do that. And then it's got like this immunity phase where they kind of blow up. Anybody who's ever done Fortuna, you'll know what this is. Now, I can be quite aggressive and just stay in its face right now and just do this. Because it doesn't really matter. It's not that scary of a fight, all right? And same goes again. Just go ahead and bring the beacon down. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's learning. Oh, no, it's not. It jumped back into it. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I don't believe there was anything else inside this area. There was a locker there, and I thought I could access the locker. It'd be kind of cool if I could. I, I don't know what would happen with it, but it could be cool. But that's mostly about it. You, you're essentially done, all right? I tried to give you a, quick, a bit of a quick rundown exactly what it is that you're looking for, and go and get all your challenges done as well, uh, and how to go and do it. But like I said, odds are you're going to run this a few times. The first time that you go and run this, do yourself a favor. Don't, like, oh my goodness, I, I send this video, I got to do it all in one go. Nah, take it nice and slow, all right? You know, go ahead and have a little look for a few things here and there. And uh, take each objective as they come, you know? So if you want to go and do, like, uh, one mission and your goal is to not die and maybe find Chipper's tools, that's fine. Set small goals and whatever suits you, just take it like that. Don't feel like you've got to go and pile on all of them. This is, like, maybe my sixth time of running the mission, so um hopefully this has helped you guys again i've recorded all of this so i know i'm we're talking to my twitch chat right now but if you guys do want this video i am going to upload it to my youtube and if it does help anybody that's great um if it doesn't well <laughs> i tried <laughs> i tried but anyways if you guys are watching on twitch uh, on youtube uh, thank you guys for being here today i do appreciate it. if you've got any comments please go and leave it uh, down below anything that you don't understand or anything that you're not sure what you're looking for or whatever and hopefully if you guys do enjoy this video please go and leave it a like i can always go ahead and make follow-up video uh, for the next week's one um, in case anybody wants to go and get the challenges done like where's the locations what should i be looking for and do you guys like this kind of style of format would you guys prefer it if i just cut all of the jumbo out and kept it as a five minute video where i just say look here 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 and here or do you guys like it where i kind of guide you around um twitch chat you guys can let me know and again if you're watching on youtube please let me know as well uh, i don't really know what it is that you guys would want so i try to go and do this as raw as i could because then that way i can explain everything on the fly and adapt to every situation i feel like it's a bit better to kind of showcase that but anyways uh, thank you guys for watching the video i do appreciate it uh, and i will see you guys again in the next one <laughs>